Hey everyone, welcome back to another build video. My name is Hexers, and this will be a special week where I will be releasing a video of the gold weapons from Colt Taroth in honor of the Golden Week celebration in Japan. Now, today's weapon will be using the Terra Thagger's Ice. Now, this will be an elemental crit build, so we have the weapon augmented with Affinity. And for gear, we have the Kushala Glare Beta, Rathalos Male Beta, Colt Terrace Rage Beta, Colt Terrace Malice Beta, Azura Star Lord Guards Alpha, as well as a Handicraft 3 charm. Now for skills, this will give us the Rathalos Critical Element from the Star-Lord and Rathalos Armor, Critical I-5 for another 20% affinity, Handicraft 4 to get us into White Sharpness with a little room to spare, Ice Attack 3 to bring the weapon's elemental cap to 350, which is insane on dual blades, uh, Free Element 3 to bring out the Ice uh, potential element damage, Critical Boost 3, since this is a crit build, it will help with the raw damage uh, part of the weapon. Next, we have Weakness Exploit 3 for the 50% affinity to weak points. And Power Prolonger 1, which, I mean, it doesn't do a whole lot for the build, but it just comes with the armor. But let's go ahead and take a look at the jewels socketed to achieve these skills. Alright, so we have three expert jewels in the helmet, another expert jewel in the chest, a critical and frost jewel in the gloves, a release and expert jewel in the waist, and another crit jewel in the legs. Now, because this is Golden Week, I'll actually be doing a two monster special showcase for these videos. First up, we'll be doing a tempered Black Diablos, followed by a tempered Teostra, with times posted at the end of each run. But let's get started. Alright, so Black Diablos happens to be extremely weak to ice. Um, I am going to take some Screamer Pods just to make the fight a little easier. Um, but let's see how this run goes. Just come on down here. Make sure the other Diablos isn't anywhere to be seen. Alright, go ahead and pop a Demon Powder and throw on my Rocksteady Mantle. And, oop, I forgot to... Hold on. I ate for Attack Up Large in this scenario, so that's why I had... I didn't have max health. Just wanted to take care of that real quick. Look at some of those hits. I mean, some of those hits are hitting for 70. That is absolutely insane. Broke a part. Broke another part. Alright, let me just go ahead and pop a potion. Oop, and then we're gonna go ahead and screamer bottom. Not today. Ooh, that kind of hurt. Oop, not enough time. Better get out. Alright, there goes my second max potion. Now, the key for fighting Diablos, I mean... Really, it's just finding those openings. When he runs around like this, even though I'm trying to go for a sub 5 minute run... You can't always be attacking him, especially when he's enraged like this and he's just going all over the place. Oop, let me take this mantle off real quick. Where is he? There he is. Throw on the impact mantle. Now, I'm not sure I'm going to get any knockouts. His head is not where I tend to focus. Oop, hold on. Just because of the short range of the dual blades, it makes it a little harder to reach his head. And I'd rather make sure that I'm actually getting hits off than trying to get a knockout. But, good for those trips. Oop, oh boy. Alright, let me just put this away. I'm gonna go grab that health here. Make sure that we have enough screamer pods if he decides to burrow. Oh. Dive, dive. Got lucky on that one. 
Come on. I should probably quit locking myself in that animation for that. There we go. Let's see if I can kind of get some head hits off here. And the impact mana wore off, so no knockout. That's okay, though. Just go ahead and take the mantle off. Boy, you like digging, don't you? And just keep swinging. Ooh. Let me just drink a potion real quick. Ooh! He almost wasn't paying attention where he was. We're gonna punish you for being a dick. Sorry, pardon my language. It's really annoying when he when he digs underground like that. And he's dead. What was the time on that? All right, so four minutes and 36 se seconds for the Tempered Black Diablos. Let's go ahead and check out the Tempered Teostra. Now, Teostra is one of my... Oh, starting in the wrong area. Teostra is one of my absolute favorite fights throughout the entire Monster Hunter series. I've loved I've loved his design, his, his tool set, pretty much everything about him. Um, he is by far my favorite monster, so it's probably the one I'm also most... Uh, efficient at farming, I, w I guess I would say, um, in world anyway. Let's go ahead and make our way down here. <clears throat> Throw on that rock steady. A lot of people don't realize, but being right in front of his face is easily the best place to be and the safest. go knocked him down already let's get back over here and just go to town oh Okay, come on. Stop dancing around. There we go. Oop, I didn't want to wave. I wanted to drink a potion. There we go. That was nice. As you can just see, the damage just racks up super fast. Oop. Chug a potion. I'm going to throw on a fire mantle here. Make life a little easier, since this is not a lifesteal build. Okay, you done? There we go. Let's see if we can get a trip off. Come on. Drink another potion real quick. <clears throat> now the great thing about the fireproof mana is, um, especially if you don't have Elder Seal, you can stand in his flames. Also, you're immune to blast and fire blight, which is really handy uh, when fighting this guy. Not to mention you take reduced damage. Ok, 
come on. Time's a ticking. I'm not sure this is going to be a sub five. Yeah, who cares if they near flash pots? You really don't need them that often. Yep, there's his broken horn, okay. Here we go, knocked him down again. Let's do my little slide attack over to his head and oop. Facing the wrong way. Let's fix that. One more okay, there we go. Alright. What's the time on that? All right, so four minutes, 23 seconds. Uh, I do want to thank you all for taking the time to watch my video. If you did enjoy the content, please like and subscribe. And as always, happy hunting.